In this video, I'll create a panoramic transition. As you can see, I've already got my clips on the timeline. Let's make the transition. Go to the middle point in between your videos, then right click, new, adjustment layer. We need to make our adjustment layer 40 frames in length, so 20 frames to each side of the middle. So from the middle point here, hold your shift and click on page up, key twice to move 10 frames at a time. So that'll be 20 frames to the left, and drag the end point, align it with the blue playhead. Then go back to the middle point and do the same for the right side. So hold your shift and page down twice to move 20 frames to the right. And again, drag the end point and align it with a blue playhead. So now our adjustment lays 40 frames in length and it'll be easier for us to work with. So now let's go ahead and start applying effects. Go to effects and presets. The first effect we'll need is offset. So search for offset effect, apply it to the adjustment layer. Then go to the beginning of the adjustment layer here and create a keyframe for shift center 2. So this effect allows you to cycle through multiple copies of your video or photo. Then go to the end of your adjustment layer here and play around with the value. And I'm going to decrease the value and do just two full cycles like that. Okay, so our video will cycle two times as you see. Now, the next effect we'll need is Gaussian Blur. Search for Gaussian Blur and apply this to the adjustment layer. Then go back to the beginning of your adjustment layer and create a keyframe for blurriness and also check the repeat edge pixels and for the blood dimension set it to vertical because we're making a vertical transition. Of course, if you're doing the horizontal transition, you would say set horizontal. So let's leave it a vertical for now. And then go to the exact middle in between your clips and increase the blurriness as you see fit. Uh, I'll set it to something like 160. You can play around with it and find something like that you like. And then after you set the middle keyframe, go to the end of your adjustment layer and set the blurriness back to zero. You'll have a gradual blur in the middle. All right. And the last effect we'll need for this is optics compensation so search for optics compensation apply this to the adjustment layer and again go to the beginning of your adjustment layer fov orientation set it to vertical again for the vertical transition and check reverse lens distortion here that's important and create a keyframe for field of view at zero then go to the middle in between your clips and increase the field of view and you can honestly play around with it and find something that you like. I'll set it to some like 100. And then go to the end of your adjustment layer. And set this back to 0. And at the moment, that's what we have. Now, keep your adjustment layer selected. And press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. You'll see the keyframes. Select them all here. And right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or you can press F9 as a shortcut. Alright, that will smoothen out the animation. And now one thing we need to do is uh, select the shift to uh, keyframes, go to the graph editor. Select the first point here, and drag the handle to the left until your influence is about 60%. And drag the, the right to keyframe, the handle also around 60%. And select the Gaussian Blur and Optic Compensation keyframes, all of them, and also go to the Graph Editor. You can zoom in here and select this point first. Drag the handle to the right again at 60%, and do the same with this one. Then select the middle point here again, but the right side. Drag this to the 60%. And this one also to 60%. Okay, so now let's exit the graph editor and preview our transition. All right, so that's the transition that we have. And yeah, you can do this with the, the horizontal, like by adjusting the dimensions, you would set the horizontal for these and also play around instead of playing around with y values play around with x value to do a horizontal transition but we're not done yet i want to show you how to save this as a preset really quickly 
So what we would do is uh, go to the effect controls and select all the effects here, all of them, and go to animation and save animation preset. Click on that. Here you, you can give this a name. So say uh, panoramic V for vertical um, down. So this one is going down. And also you can give it a destination, but yeah, user presets, that's the folder. Click OK. And uh, now preset has been saved. And if you go to animation presets, user presets, it'll show up uh, right here. Panoramic V down. Okay, you, you can of course organize it better. So say if you didn't have this adjustment layer, let's remove this and we're starting fresh. And you want to create a transition real quick. What do you would do again? New adjustment layer. And once again, let's cut the adjustment layer to 40 frames. So once again, go to the left 20 frames, bring in the endpoint, then go back to the middle, go to the right 20 frames, bring the endpoint, make the adjustment layer 40 frames in length, then place your playhead at the beginning of your, the adjustment layer. That's important at the beginning. And then just drag this animation preset to the adjustment layer. And if we press U now, you'll see that the keyframes have been applied. And if we go to the graph editor, you'll see that it's all as we saved it. And you can preview this, boom, just like that. Real quick, you can have a transition without going through the hustle of creating this every single time from scratch. So, and that's about it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.